Connor, Oxford away this weekend, but uh, first of all, a uh, great result on Tuesday against Solihull. Um, great performance, I'd say. Um, I think we deserved all three points. We dominated the game. Uh, they didn't even have a corner. We created enough chances late on, especially to, to win the game. And obviously the goal we conceded is obviously disappointing, but in terms of performance and control and dominating the game, it was excellent uh, from start to finish. Uh, pretty much played the game in their half. So uh, in terms of intensity of our performance, it was excellent, but a little bit disappointed to drop two points in, um, in terms of not winning the game. Obviously, Gary Hooper getting that equaliser right at the death. How much of an impact has he had in the dressing room since his arrival? Listen, we knew he'd do that. Um, obviously, he scored goals throughout his whole career. He's a killer in the box. And obviously, you see that when the ball drops, he was the quickest on the move, obviously, in the right position and great finish. So, massive goal for us. Obviously, would have been with this one with a point, never mind, obviously, if we'd have lost the game. So, it is an important goal for us. Um, but yeah, he's been brilliant. He's been, um, been brilliant around the place. You can see he's always talking to the lads. Um, great bit of information for him. Obviously, he's been um, a very experienced player. He's had a great career. So, he's, he's uh, invaluable in the group. Obviously, that was our third third league game at the Hive where we've managed to score and stoppage time at the end. How, is, how important is the mentality of the group at the minute and that never-die attitude? Yeah, I, I think if you were here watching the games, obviously us as the team, we're not shocked with the late goals because we're in control of the game so much and we're wearing our positions down and grinding them down that late goals are bound to come. Um, you see, especially on Tuesday night, every time the ball went dead, even in the first half, their lads are down and they're hungers, they're tired, they're breathing heavy. And I think if you control the game like we did for 90 minutes, um, in a lot of our home games, teams obviously get tired, more tired, more tired, and the gaps start to open up and they'll start making errors. So uh, it's not it's not just happening by by chance. Um, you see a lot of lot of good teams in, the, in in every league tend to score late, and it's because of that we kept doing the right thing. We don't turn to hoof in it. We keep playing the right way, keep wearing them down. I said obviously them opportunities open up. It's, um, just on Tuesday night alone, I think we had three or four glorious chances in the last 10 minutes, and that's not just because obviously they are sat in, but that's just because we're grinding them down. Obviously, they're getting tired and space starts open up. We're bringing on fresh legs, and as I said, they're they're obviously dead in their feet. I was, I was talking of mentality as well. Any team who's going going for the title, obviously, had a great home record, unbeaten so far. How important is it to make this place a fortress for and make it difficult for teams to come here? Yeah, of course. Obviously, we're, we're on our home patch. We want to go and perform as best we can in front of our fans. Obviously, they give us a little boost every home game as well. So. You, listen, as you said, any successful team tends to have a good home record and obviously we want to be the same. So, um, yeah, to, to only draw two games and win the rest of home is, is a great great stat for us. So we want to keep that going as best we can. Obviously, although away tomorrow to Oxford, they've already picked up great results there against Hartlepool and Boreham Wood. What, what sort of challenge can we expect from them? Yeah, uh, as you just touched on there, they've had some great home results, especially um, even even games they've lost there. Chesterfield beat them 2 1. I think Aldrin beat them 2 1, but it was a late goal as well. Who really, were like, obviously excellent sides in the division, so not an easy place to go. AstroTurf as well, which can sometimes level the playing field a little bit. But listen, they're a good football team. I know I know Jenks from our Watford days. He's um, He likes to play football. Obviously, done a brilliant job, done excellent to get them up last year. Um, as I said, they play excellent football. They're brave. They keep doing this, what they believe in. So, yeah, another tough test. Um, very similar to obviously when we, when we went to Kitty, their home record was excellent. Um, even so, obviously, newly promoted teams, they, they obviously try and make the home grounds tough to go to. And to be fair to Oxford, they're doing that at the minute. It's not an easy place to go and get a result. Connor, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.